I'm on my way to the new Dairy Queen that opened not far from where we live. There, we hadn't had one around here for ever since we've been here, but this one opened when they opened the new section of highway. Dairy Queen has been a drive-in food place, fast food place in Texas ever since when. I, I can't even remember when it when we didn't have Dairy Queen. They were always famous for their chicken and steak finger baskets. And that was the thing that most everyone went there for. But uh, on their new ads, they're advertising uh, chicken and dumplings. And my wife, that's one of her favorite uh, meals, and she said to, uh, she'd like to have that tonight. So I'm on my way to that Dairy Queen, also known as the stop sign in Texas. Get, get her some chicken and dumplings. Here it is. Looks like the drive-in window's on the other end. Let's see what they're advertising here. Country baskets, tea, and hunger busters. See where they advertise the chicken and dumplings. Saw it on TV. Oh yeah, there it is. Hello. Hello, anybody here? I'm sorry. I'm ready to order. I'm sorry, I can barely hear you. Uh, what size does your chicken and dumplings come in? The chicken and dumplings? Yes, what size? We have a cup and then we have a bowl. The cup is the smallest, the smallest size. And what are the prices? The cup is um, $4.99 and with tax it'll be $5.40. And the bowl is $5.99 and the total will come out to be $6.48. Okay, I better have one of the bowls. I'm sorry? I'll have one of the bowls. You want the bowl? Yes. All right, anything else? No, that's it. Okay, oh. 648. Do you have a senior discount? A senior discount, yes, sir. Okay, I'll look like that. All right, I have your total for you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there it is. It's the right thing in the bag. I checked my order before I left. And total 583. Five ninety nine, senior discount sixty cents, tax forty four. Well, that's nice. You know, most everyone associates chicken dumplings with the Great Depression, and it probably came from Hoover's uh, electioneering and his promises, which was. A chicken in every pot and actually what he said was a car in every backyard but they have changed it over to a car in every garage 
but in those days very few houses had garages the closest thing they might have to a garage would be a carriage house in the backyard and uh, they associated uh, chicken and dumplings with being inexpensive food when actually at that time chicken was cost more per pound than beef or pork and uh, you didn't raise chickens for food then, you raised chickens to lay eggs and the only chickens that you harvested and ate were the young roosters which weren't needed for egg production. And the only time that a chicken got eaten in those days was when it got too old to lay and got tough and they, they boiled it until it was tender. Made chicken soup out of it. Traffic sure is heavy this time of day. Caught this left turn there at just the right time. And we're back home. See what we got here. Got crackers, napkins, little plastic spoon, but I got you a real spoon. There we go. Look at it here. Look good. Let me smell it. Well, it smells very good. Said over here where Frida can get to it. Won't you check it out there and Mmm, you're very good. Why don't you check it for the dumplings and the chicken in it? Okay. Look at that. Those dumplings are nice and thin like you like, aren't they? They are the best dumplings since that I have found that my, like my granny used to make. They're and thin. The, They're not real thick and gummy. And got some... Lots of white chicken there. Yeah, it's all white chicken. Yeah, they're really good. 
You know, a lot of people have asked to see pictures of you like you were younger, and I'm going to put one in there. Oh, okay. She's still a beautiful lady and witty, and she may be in an electric wheelchair, but she's still the same beautiful lady that I married about 61 years ago. You know that the about the only difference in chicken or the noodles or dumplings is they roll them out like pie dough and thin and cut them in small pieces in the south and in the north they make like big drop biscuits, big balls of dough there. And Frida likes the thin ones much better. And in case you wonder about the method of my madness, there was only enough chicken salad for one sandwich, so I got the chicken salad sandwich and she got her chicken and dumplings that she wanted. <laughs>